Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And look, looky, 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 who comes clicky? And that fabulous looking hair. Yes, it's Go Naked Hair by Portia Williams. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all go on over there and get the hair if you dare. It definitely, it's, excuse me, it's definitely have been playing a major role on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because Drew hair ain't never looked this good on the let me see would this be her second season or third season i guess this would be her third season because she's been on two times correct me if i'm wrong but her hair was horrible when she first got on the show i was like girl who is your stylist who is your stylist because you need to fire them but she got hooked up with Portia. i don't know uh where Portia got that brain idea or great idea from uh maybe she you know Maybe it really did come from her wanting um, Drew Sador to be one of her ambassadors to uh, support her hair where she can go out into the public everywhere she going. She looking, the hair's looking fabulous and all of that. And she can um, definitely say where she got the hair from. So definitely we have tried to talk with Portia about getting her hair on a more larger scale than basically she's selling it local. <coughs> But uh, I know she has a uh, online shop that you can go, and I guess that would be considered global or international, depending on where she shipped to and where you live and all that good stuff. But yeah, Drew's out there trying to do the darn thing by showcasing her go naked hair on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's a large uh, platform. I think Shamia Moore wears her hair as well, and it it does look flawless. So. Um, those who like wearing wigs and weave and all that, go check her out. Check her out. That's free promotion. So y'all say I don't like Porsche. I'm always dogging Porsche. See, I I'm biased. I mean, I'm non-biased. I, I I like everybody. It's just when you start coming out sideways, you, you're looking crazy out here. Then I'm the one that likes to tap you on your shoulder. Like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, this is not you. Get back to what you were doing and stop fooling around. Stop messing up your brand. And so, I'm just trying to help her out, okay? But the hair is banging. But one thing I did not know, honey, Drew got vocals. I didn't know she could sing. Or is it auto-tunes? Y'all tell me. But girlfriend was trying to sing a little diddly. And uh, <laughs> you would get the point of reference that she's trying to say. She tired of her husband. She finna bounce and all of that. Now y'all can listen to the song. Because you know I'm going to play it for you all. Giving her a little shine on my channel as well. To uh, help her push her sales. Or I don't know if it's still in the development stage. Or this is one single she's bringing out. That she's going to be streaming. But uh, like I said, she really wasn't singing over. Because I would have liked her to do a cappella. Because then we could get a range of her uh, vocals. But I don't know if she knew coming out, y'all. Or, or has she been out? Uh, making records and stuff of that nature let me know because i'm surprised candy ain't try to get her to sing but maybe candy just didn't want to do that no more because of uh kim zoziet had tricked her and all that kind of stuff which i don't know how kim tricked her because candy you've been in the business too long to not say you're gonna not charge somebody or yeah i mean <laughs> I don't know how the shit went down, but you, you kind of made, made yourself look like a fool, Candy, for uh, taking your time and your talents and working with somebody. And then they think you're doing them a good, solid favor, and then they go dog you out in them streets, okay? And then that's how you and pretty much Kim fell out, even though you, you weren't going to be friends with Kim long. Because Kim don't want friends. She just wants her man, have all them damn kids, 
and she's good. She's good. <laughs> she, she she don't need no new friends. As long as she got her her um what do you call it? Her um I will I wanted to say entourage, but as long as she got her football team with her I and mean, all her kids and she got Cora on, you know, either side of her, she good. She ain't even gotta have her mom and dad in the picture. But let's just see what Drew is giving us, if we may. I have been in the studio working on this record, and I want y'all to tell me what you think. I'm working with the legendary Troy Oliver. Can we play him something? Don't tell me you love me. You know you don't love me. No, you don't love me. Don't tell me you love me. working on this record and I want y'all to tell me what you think. I'm um, working with the legendary Troy Oliver. Can we play him something? Absolutely. Don't tell me you love me. You know you don't love me. No, you don't love me. Don't tell me you love me. Now, I kind of like it. I like the background music. I like the falsettos. Um, I mean, I like it. It's a nice tune, even though it's a tune where she's pretty much trying to shade her man. And I'm like, girl, did you get your uh, inspiration from how uh, Ralph been treating you these days, girl? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, you were the issue all of the time. Yes, girl, I hear you, girl. I hear you. Bob. Do Ralph hear you, baby girl? Do Ralph hear you? Did you get his permission before you put this song out? Are y'all going to be battling in the house, tearing up furniture and stuff? When he feel like you done made a fool out of him and that song was totally all about him? Girl, I'm for it. I'm for it. I'm for it. Your mama probably for it, too. Because you're going to have to make some tough decisions as well. Or are you going to st- uh, continue to let your um, self-esteem be dimmed by him? Or are you going to do what you need to do? And if he don't come correct, you must bounce. You know what I'm saying? You got to bounce. Because it's all about self-preservation and keeping your mental intact. And uh, it's good to pour your heart into songs. But if you're not doing anything about your current situation... That got you in a negative space. Then you know. It's not going to be any good for you. To make a hit record. But you still live in that record. Throughout your whole lifetime. With that same man. Who's making you very very unhappy. But child. I like it honey. I like it. But I'm like is that auto tunes? Is that auto tunes, girl? Okay. I need some here. I need to hear some acapella to make sure you got them vocals. All right, but it's a cute song. I can see me jamming to it in the car or whatnot. Uh, so good job, good job, Drew Sador. You are doing something other than acting and acting a fool on that ratchet TV show that we're watching, trying to support our um, culture and our race. Uh, cause we need to, we need you to stop whining now, girl. We need you to stop whining and putting your storyline as having a bad marriage or this, that, and the third. Cause, hey, as long as you got the Lord, as long as you got counselors that are there to help you all and y'all are really trying to do the work. But if y'all really not invested in doing the work and y'all just want to be hollering at each other and, and fussing with each other all the time, that's going to get bored and your relationship's going to come open and open and open to somebody's going to really tip out. And when you do that, he ain't going to trust that person no more. 
Because you're going to be thinking about who they were with, why they was with them, and how long they were doing this with that person. So, baby girl, you got a lot of th things to talk about. You got a lot of things to think about. Uh, but I like the music. Um, I give you an A. I give you an A. Okay. But uh, and your, your style or how you looking and stuff. I can see you going up there doing a little, um, we call it quiet storm night. You probably need to, well, y'all are done film for 14. If you make it to 15, you still want to actually um, continue doing this uh, music thing. You should focus on that being your uh, storyline if you make it to season 15. I'm just saying. Because then maybe Can to get involved and she'll have a storyline. Because that false storyline she got talking about having an issue with Todd. That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work either. <laughs> I'm not here for it. I am not here for it. But uh, that's all I have for this, guys. This particular video. So y'all shout out Drew on her channel. Let her know what y'all thought about her getting into the music field. And trying to solidify herself. And, you know, trying to make this song pop. I'm pretty sure she's going to stream it out. Um, but, um, uh, we'll see what it does. We'll see what it do. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.